AI wars have come home. India's 1.4 billion users are in play. India is our second largest market in the world after the US, and it may well become our largest market. It's incredibly fast growing, and on August 19, 2025, he launched ChatGPT Go, priced at 399 rupees, less than $5. OpenAI is making its boldest move yet in the Indian market. The market potential, conservatively we estimate, somewhere between 30 to 50 million in revenues, and aggressively, it could go over $200 million. And that's just subscription from users. We still have the enterprise market. But this isn't a fight for 399 rupees. It's a fight for India's 1.4 billion mines, the mines of students, creators, coders and entrepreneurs. The AI wars have officially landed and India is in the front line. ChatGPT Go isn't just competing on features, it's competing on price, it's competing on language and it's competing on payment accessibility. And that's where India's 1.4 billion users come into play. Now the real question is, what will happen to India's AI companies and how will this change the Indian AI landscape? Will this make us smarter or just more reliant on foreign technology? Let's delve into what is ChatGPT Go and why the rupees 399 matters. OpenAI has launched ChatGPT Go, a new subscription tier priced at 399 a month, less than $5, which is designed exclusively for Indian users. It's a strategic middle ground between the free plan and the rupees 1,999 month plus tier. The key features, you get access to GPT-5, 10 times the message limits, 10 times the image generation, 10 times the file uploads, two times longer memory. Chat GPT Go introduces expanded Indic language support, making AI more inclusive for millions of non-English speakers. It supports Hindi, Tamil, Bengali, Telugu, Marathi and more. It enables regional creators, educators and students to engage with AI in their native language. And it introduced easy payments. For the first time, users can pay via UPI, making it accessible to millions who rely on mobile first payments. Now let's talk a little bit about why India is a strategic market. ChatGPT globally has somewhere around 270 million active users. India's share is at about 12%, making India ChatGPT's second largest market. And if we put those two numbers together, this puts the India user base at 32.4 million monthly users. And this number is growing fast. It's not just about scale. It's about how India is shaping global AI usage patterns. But, but there is one big problem. India leads in installs, but not in spending. 14% of lifetime ChatGPT app installs are from India, the highest globally. The US actually follows in installs at 10.3%, but contributes 38% of global revenue. Their average spend per download is $10. India is estimated to be less than $1. The global average is about $2.91. So what does ChatGPT see? a massive monetization opportunity and explains why OpenAI is exploring bundling with many different distribution partners. ChatGPT Go could also close that monetization gap with the attractive pricing, UPI and regional support. So we took a crack at what the Indian market value could be. If we look at the fact that 12% of ChatGPT's global user base is from India, that's about 32.4 million monthly users. And if just 5% of those subscribe to the ChatGPT Go plan at rupees 399, OpenAI could earn somewhere between $93 million a year. That's just the starting point. That number is going to grow. Beyond just the economic numbers, 
India matters a lot for all the AI players. Let's talk about why. At number one, we have a massive youth population. Over 50% of our population is under the age of 30. Number two, we have affordable mobile data. We have the lowest cost per GB globally. Number three, high English fluency, plus a growing demand for regional language. Number four, huge, huge, huge coding community. 17 million plus GitHub developers. And number five, our daily use cases are really supported by AI. When we talk about education, we talk about job prep, content creation, and a lot of enterprise workflows. So India isn't just scaling fast, it is deeply embedded in how AI is being used and what it needs to evolve. The worrying part, what now happens to Indian AI companies? The 399 price point is a geo-style disruption. Indian startups offering chatbots at 99 to 499 rupees a month now face direct competition from GPT-5. There will be a lot of pressure to differentiate. There will be opportunities maybe to collaborate, and there will also be a risk of consolidation. What does this mean for the overall Indian story? ChatGPT's goal launch at 399 signals a shift. Global platforms are now designing and thinking about Indian users. This means faster rollouts, regional features, and pricing strategies that are built around Indian wallets and Indian realities. The launch also of ChatGPT Go signals a new phase in the global AI race. Here are five takeaways for us. First, India isn't just participating now in the AI race, it's shaping it. Second, how will the competitors react? How will Indian companies react? Will we start seeing perplexity in Claude offer free pro services to us? Third will be all about integrations. Will Facebook speed up its WhatsApp integration? What will Geo do? What will happen with its open AI partnership talks now? Will it be bundled? Fourth, regulatory spotlight. How will the Indian government look at this? Where will our data be stored? Fifth, what will be next for the Indian language players and for the Bharat story? But a lot of action is yet to come. This is just the start of the war.